guys welcome back to my channel I'm so glad that you're here good morning I just sat down at my desk this morning with my cup of coffee that it tastes so good because it is so cold here to work in the gratitude part of my Prima notebook my nope travelers notebook I should say my TN now that October is over I am using my Prima here for my journaling, my Bible journaling, if you will, my gratitude journal, and then I also have a cheap Dollar Tree <laughs> um, planner inside of this as well that I just decked out and made my own, and I'm using that for planning for the month of November. I will probably make myself a laminated traveler's notebook for the month of December to do December daily or December memory keeping, but we'll get to that when that happens. But this morning I just thought um, I'd show you what I'm working on because I just sat down, like I said, with my cup of coffee to work in my gratitude journal. I gotta tell you guys, I got a little bit behind. Um, if you guys follow me on social media, then you know that I've been a little bit under the weather with like a sinus infection and stuff. So I'm a little bit behind, I am not caught up. I think today is like the 10th. I think, yeah, today's the 10th, and I think I'm like on day five or six, which is no big deal, because sometimes it's nice to sit down and do more than one layout at a time, and I love working on this in the morning. So I come in here with my cup of coffee, I light my candle, and it's just so relaxing. I think that's one of the main reasons I love my Traveler's Notebook. But I'm rambling on and on and on and on. So here in the front, um, behind my pictures and my shaker, is my piece of vellum. Um, that I made like into a little pocket and here is the part of the traveler's notebook um, insert I guess I should say that I am using for my um, gratitude journal I love this paper this is one of those hot spot paper pads from Michaels I covered all my my inserts with this so when you open up the page I just have this beautiful like little intro here I printed this off of Google images I love this and it just says, hello, November. Thank you for reminding us we have so much to be grateful for. And isn't that the truth? <laughs> and then over here, I just have an intro, you know, my gratitude journal. And I use some of my Etsy things that I got and lots of washi. I'm loving washi right now. Washi is like my go-to for everything. I love clustering it. I just love that the way it looks. You can make it look very neat and formal, or you can cluster it and make it look very chunky and just random. I love that. I love that about washi and, of course, stickers. I mean, there's nothing more fun than playing with washi and stickers, in my personal opinion. So, whew, for day number one, I really love this this washi here to me it does speak very fall but it has purple in it and purple happens to be one of my favorite colors and purple also is a representation of royalty and i just thought it would be very fitting to make of course my day number one is i'm very thankful for my family and if i had a picture of all of us together i would have put that here before instead of me writing family and listen if I happen to find a picture of all of us together it is so hard to get all four of us together these days it's unbelievable so I was even thinking about putting an older picture of us in here like this is the most recent picture and my son isn't even in this because he didn't go on this trip so it's like if I can find even an older picture of all four of us together I might just print it out and put it here because that would be much fitting much more fitting in my personal opinion but day one I'm just so thankful for my family and day number two um, I'm just so thankful for my friends I thought you know friends and family I used to use some stickers and some washi and things like that very simple simple layouts um, and journaling you know just how I feel about all that <laughs> Day three is very fitting to me. It is coffee, and maybe that sounds so silly to other people, but really and truly, it may be silly, but coffee for me is one of those simple joys in your day. I love it, and it makes me happy. So I just had to put in there coffee. And again, this is another of these little cute images that I found off of Google Images, and it just says, you got this, coffee. <laughs> and I absolutely love it, and I bought this beautiful coffee washi from Michaels and I had to use it it's just it's beautiful and it says brute to full day and it has the coffee and the muffins and appears big coffee cups and I just had to 
And another thing that makes me very happy for day number four is um, Happy Mail. And guys, these are things that I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for coffee. I'm grateful for that very simple joy of being able to have a beautiful, delicious, warm, hot cup of coffee in the morning to get your day going. I mean, I'm just so grateful for that. I am so grateful for Happy Mail. And then what I did here is I just used some really pretty washi that looks like um, envelopes and I decorated it out. And then I actually put an envelope in here and then my journaling about Happy Mail is inside of this and just how it makes me feel. Happy Mail blesses my heart and sometimes I'm, it's always, it's like a godsend sometimes, really and truly. Sometimes I'm having some horrible, horrible days and I will go to my P.O. box and someone will have sent me a rack or a Happy Mail package and oh my gosh, it just blesses my heart and lifts my spirit. So I'm so grateful for for Happy Mail and the connection that I have with the people who send me things and my project shares and stuff because it is, it's a connection and I'm so grateful for that. And then next, I drew this, so don't laugh. Listen, it is your journal. I really am showing you this because this is kind of private, <laughs> you know, your journals and your gratitude journals and things, they really are private, but I share it with you guys because I want to encourage you and inspire you to just be creative. I, as you can tell, my drawing is elementary. I can't draw very well at all, but I had so much fun with this and it's all about the creative outlet. It's all about just sitting down and really thinking about what you're grateful for. And I am so grateful for my home and I wanted to draw my home. So that's what I did. And this blessed my heart so much. Being able to draw this and putting the stickers and the colors and journaling about it, it just brought me so much joy and so much peace. And that's why I do what I do. And that's why I share it with you because I really want you guys to be inspired. And I'm telling you, when you sit down, <clears throat> excuse me guys, I'm still dealing a little bit with being under the weather, but when you sit down and you really search your heart for the things that you're grateful for and you put it to paper, it really puts perspective of how blessed you really are and it gives you a different mindset. And that is my encouragement for today to do your own gratitude journal. And you don't have to do it in a traveler's notebook. You can do it in any style that you like. That's what's so wonderful about these things is that you can do it in a million different ways. Nobody's is exactly the same. And they're beautiful. They're just beautiful. And next year when I sit down at this month and I start another gratitude journal to be able to go back and look at where I was and what I was grateful for that year will inspire me for a whole nother year. So I'm blabbing on and on and on and on. But this is as far as I got so far. So I was going to work on day seven today. But for day number six, I'm thankful for books. <laughs> now, again, it may sound very silly, but I love books. I love my Bible and I just love books in general. And I wrote in here how much I love my Bible and books that inspire me. And, you know, I love sci-fi and I love fantasy and those just, they make my, they make me happy. I love the adventure that I take when I read books and I love the word of God and I love books that are, um, that inspire me to be a better person. Um, I just, I love books to me, books and coffee. And in a weird way, my traveler's notebook is a form of a book. So I love this. I love paper. I love books. And being able to be in a book and be creative and and use my hands and just, ah, it just makes my day. This stuff makes me happy. <laughs> so like I said, I know it's very personal and it may be very boring for you guys to like take a peek at my gratitude journal, but I simply just do it to show you um, how creative you can be. And I just really want to inspire you to um, use it as an outlet. So many people out there, I see so many times like on Facebook and my um, social media accounts really, about how many people put on there about how depressed they are and how upset they are and all these things. And I get it. Like, you know, everyday life is, is extremely overwhelming. And I have my days too where I am so overwhelmed. I don't know whether I'm going up or I'm going down. And I'm telling you, this kind of stuff, 
and getting out the word of God, another book, and getting into scripture and journaling about what God laid on your heart from that scripture and writing what you're thankful for and being creative. I'm telling you, it helps with those kinds of things. And I think that's why I share this kind of stuff with you guys, because simply if I want to encourage you that if you're going through something like that and you really and truly need help, I encourage you to do things like this because I can't possibly be the only person that finds solace and peace and um, just like taking a deep breath. It's almost like something I do for me. Some people drink wine or take a bath or something like that. This is another form of an outlet where you're doing something for you and it really does help the psyche, <laughs> if that makes sense. And now I'm getting all deep and I sound like a therapist, so I promise I will stop. I'm just slowly flipping through this as I'm blabbing your ear off um, to show you my um, planner part. <clears throat> Again, this is just one of those little cheapy dollar um, planners from the, um, I wanted to say almost Target, but it's not. It's the Dollar Tree. And I covered it with cute little paper. You guys have seen this before in my last plan with me video. Well, I didn't film a plan with me for this one, but I just thought I'd show you what I did for this week. I tried to make it very fall and very festive. Of course, I got my coffee in there. <laughs> and I put this big girl down here, like taking a selfie of herself in a phone because I'm trying to do more Insta stories. I'm really trying to put my heart and soul into um, using Instagram as one of my main um, social media platforms and I try to put insta stories up every day of just my everyday life um, it's almost in place of um, a day in a life kind of videos on my YouTube channel here so if you guys are ever interested in that and you know knowing me a little bit better in my own personal life and seeing kind of like what I do every day please check out my Instagrams they're linked down below I'm much more active on my do what you love my kind of personal uh, Instagram that's kind of connected to this channel than I am my author one right now <sighs> just simply because I'm just got so much going on I have not been focusing on my books and I really need to change that that is going to be one of my goals for 2018 and that is another thing that I'm going to be doing in this book I'm going to be taking one of these inserts and I'm going to be writing out my new year's resolution goals in it as well and if you guys would be interested in seeing how I do all that and how I journal and sometimes I bullet journal sometimes I do different kinds of journaling just let me know down in the comments or give the video a thumbs up and I'll know that you guys would be interested in seeing that I just don't want to bore you with my own personal things really and truly I'm just trying to inspire and share what I'm working on because I just love this stuff I love stickers and I love washi and I love being creative and I know that there's so many of you out there that feel the same way so, and I use YouTube as a great platform to share <laughs> and my Instagram as well. But I just used um, a whole bunch of different kinds of mock washi, if you will. These are actually strips of, I guess they call them stickers, but they look like washi to me that I picked up from the Dollar Tree when I was in New Jersey because I've never seen these here in Pennsylvania where I live. And they're very fall, the colors, and they're just beautiful and they're highly glittered. I just thought they were gorgeous and I tried to center everything around that and use some Etsy stickers and some pumpkins and things like that because we are still in fall and I really like how that turned out and this was remember guys last week's plan with me where I used the whole blogger girl um, Etsy pack from KC designs and I love how that turned out and next week I think I'm going to do um, but first coffee for this layout and also I got that from Casey Designs off of Etsy so I will probably do a plan with me video for next week's and I love this I love the simplicity and the smallness if you will of the Dollar Tree planner I really love this I've worked in the happy planner for years years like five five six years and going from that to this I'm really really enjoying this sometimes you just got to switch it up and do something different and I'm really loving that I paid a dollar for a planner and I'm enjoying it <laughs> so it's all about the simple things simple things guys alrighty so I'm just gonna stick my little homemade bookmark right in there that I created I love that and I love that be creative it reminds me every day and I am going to get busy working um, on my next spot here in my gratitude journal and do a little bit of Bible journaling this morning I know I just basically talked your ear off for about 16 minutes but I just want to thank you for joining me today 
for my, I guess it should be show and tell, <laughs> my show and tell of what I'm working on this morning. I'm starting to work on some Christmas DIYs and I still want to make a fall wreath for my door. This is the only thing I get so upset with myself and it seems to happen so often. I promise it's the last little thing I'll share with you. I'm talking you guys' ear off, but you guys tell me all the time you love when I talk to you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, is when I when I feel under the weather and I'm not well <laughs> and I take a couple days for myself where I don't do anything but rest, I get so far behind on my projects. And then I feel like there is just not enough day, there's just not enough hours or days in a week or in a day to get everything that I want to do done and still be a mom and cook dinner and wash laundry and do all the things that I have to do on a normal basis as well. Does anybody relate to that? Like, goodness gracious, you take a day because you don't feel good and you feel like you got behind five days <laughs> because it's already the 10th of November and I still don't even have my fall wreath done and up on my door, which is driving me nuts. But as soon as I work on that, um, I plan on um, filming that. If you guys would like to see the process video for that, again, you can leave me a comment down below and I definitely will um, be more than glad to film me working on that. I'll be using Dollar Tree products, and I really have a goal to get that up before um, Thanksgiving is over, because then I need to be working on my Christmas one, and I am just rambling. So guys, I love you. So I have talked your ear off literally probably almost 20 minutes, so I am truly going to go. Just want to tell you guys that in this month of being thankful and having gratitude, I am truly thankful for each and every one of you and the friendships that I have made, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I hope that you guys have a wonderfully blessed weekend. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope me talking didn't like scare you away. And if you like somebody who likes to talk and does projects, I am definitely the girl. Subscribe and become part of the Lovey family. Give this video a big thumbs up. Take care of you and always do what you love. Bye guys.